In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the self-propelled drive cable on this Troy Belt push mower. It's a very easy job, but you might need a little bit of assistance with that. I'm going to make it real easy for you. This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so we're replacing this self-propel cable right here. It goes in through here, as you can see. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do to separate this plastic cover from the transaxle is to take the wheel height adjustment and put it on the first setting. All right, just right here, that's simple. Reason being is, is when we separate these two halves, that first setting remains as part of the, uh, what's left on the lawnmower, and the rest of these settings will come off with the, uh, with the plastic cover. All right, so best you can, prop the mower up so that the, uh, the wheels stay up in the air. Doesn't matter how you do it, just make sure it's safe and it doesn't fall on your uh, hands or anything. Okay, so hopefully this is showing up on the camera. Looks like we've got nine screws under here. One, two, three, four, five. Don't forget there's one in the middle. Six, seven, eight, nine. So just remove those screws. They all have a three-eighths head. And if you're gonna use an impact like this, be careful when you put them back not to over tighten them because they will strip out pretty easy. All right, so my plastic cover should be pretty loose. We're gonna lower the mower back down. All right, now with the bolts out, this cover should just peel right off of here there we go there we go all right so to make this a little bit easier you might want to wedge something back here to kind of hold this up a little bit it makes this cable easier to come out of there all right so when you get that done just grab this right here and just with the other hand pull it it's a little much you have to fight with it a little bit there it goes all right, and then just slip the cable through the slot right there, and then just kind of work this out right here, and there you go, it's free. All right, now that you've got the transaxle side of your cable loose, we'll go ahead and take it loose from the top. Make sure and cut the wire tie on the handle. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And by the way, here's the part number for the cable. I will try to post that in the description, as well as the model number to the lawnmower. There was some damage to the tag that has the model number to the lawnmower on there, but I'll try to decipher it and figure it out. All right, so we're looking at the back side of the handle here where the cable goes in. It's not necessary to take those three screws out, just this one on the bottom. Careful not to lose that screw and just kind of pop the hood on that bad boy and just pull the cable out very easy. You might have to grab a hold of the handle to hold it, and it just comes right out of that slot right there, okay? Now your cable is completely out. Okay, so once you get your new cable, just hook this end up the same way that the other one was. Very simple. Just kind of pull that back. And push that back up in there, just like so. All right, and then to put the plastic cover back on, this plastic cover has a tab right here, and that tab goes underneath here between the belt. So make sure that that is under there, otherwise it'll probably be flopping around on you. There we go. Just put your nine screws back in the bottom, right through the slot right there, very simple. Make sure your adjustment gear is shining right there through the hole, all right? And by the way, here's your adjustment. You adjust this from the other side to wherever you prefer it to be for your situation. And then just put the screw back. That's it. All right, don't forget to put the wire tie back on the handle. That's about all there is for that job. Thanks for watching.